CataractCoach.com. Zepto for intumescent white cataracts. This is for sure the safest way to avoid a caps runout, and it's the gold standard for capsulotomy. Look at this highly pressurized capsular bag. As we fill it up with viscoelastic and touch the anterior lens caps, you will notice it is really very pressurized. The bag pressure, intralenticular pressure is high. So I poke it with a needle and look what happens. Now what we want is we want a needle decompression. That works if the lenticular pressure is not too high. And you can see in this resident case, able to decompress the capsular bag and then create the rexus. We've also talked about the double rexus technique here. Here's buzzing in with a phaco probe, so phaco puncture. That can work as well in some cases, but the tear is a little bit less predictable. So now keeping the probe in the eye with high infusion and trying to finish it. You say, what about a femtosecond laser? Well, look at this case. Femtosecond laser can leave caps or attachments. It's not fast enough. So I have a better way for you. And that better way is with the Zepto device from Centricity Vision. I'm a paid consultant for the company. And so here's a case with an intumescent white cataract. And you can see, look how pressurized the capsule bag is. It's really pressurized. Young patient, about 40 years old, and there's a high lenticular pressure, liquefied lens material, lens cortex everywhere. There's the device. You can see it's a round ring, 5.2 millimeters in diameter with a suction cup. And as we place it in the eye, it actually can collapse on itself. The ring is made of nitinol, so nickel titanium alloy. Fixate the eye here, we can collapse that ring so we can fit through our standard two point something millimeter phaco incision. There it is. Place it inside the eye. Now re-expand it to the normal round size and center up that ring wherever you want the rexus. So looking at that ring, center it up. Look at the Purkinje images, that looks great. So center it up there. We turn on some suction. And as the suction is on, we're going to fixate and hold that capsule in place. And then a little brief burst of electricity has gone through there. Four milliseconds. And look what you get. A beautiful rexus. And it happens so fast that there's no chance for any of the liquefied lens cortex to run out. There's no chance for an Argentinian flag sign. It just doesn't happen. And the, the capsule is completely free-floating. There are no attachments that are left. So I can take the capsule out of the eye and I'll put it on the cornea. Let me show you. It's a perfectly round capsule opening. This capsulotomy that's been made is exactly 5.2 millimeters in diameter. And it's exactly centered where I wanted it. And for a fraction of the cost of a 100 second laser. So really a game changer and the gold standard for an intumescent white cataract. So I'll speed up the cataract part of the video. And you can see this is an intumescent cataract, so the lens cortex is liquefied. There's some good density in the lens um, nucleus as well, but we'll be very cautious in removing all that, and it'll come out of the bag pretty nicely. Now, this capsulotomy that is created is exactly 5.2 millimeters, and maybe future iterations of this device will allow you to have different sizes, but for now it's 5.2. And the edges are very strong, much stronger than if you did it with a femtosecond laser. So this is a device that really is very useful in a case like this with an intumescent white cataract. It essentially eliminates the issue of the Argentinian flag sign, and it makes it a very predictable case. And taking away a little bit of the certain stress, always a good thing. So you can see here with the eye probe cleaning up the capsule bag, it looks fantastic. And then now we're ready for the lens. Let's slow down the video here. Back to normal speed, look at that capsulotomy. Beautifully centered. Look at the Purkinje image. I was able to center up this capsulotomy exactly where I wanted it. And I want it beautifully centered because I want that optic of the eye well in the patient's visual axis. I'm not so worried about, you know, anything else other than I want the lens centered in the visual axis. And that again is with the Purkinje images. So now let's deliver our lens. In this patient, he's getting a single piece acrylic lens, a monofocal lens. Goes in the capsule bag very nicely. The lens, of course, has a six millimeter optic. And now let's center up that lens. There's a little bit of a lens material that's still adherent to the capsule. We'll get that out at the end, get that capsule really nice and clean. Make sure there's really nothing to cause any post-op inflammation. And look at that overlap. Wow, exactly what you want, that's textbook. It's what you want, that's the golden result. A 5.2 millimeter capsulotomy in this eye with a six millimeter optic, beautifully centered, zero issues, 
zero potential for originated flag sign or capsule run out, and it just makes the case a lot more safe for the patient and less stressful for the surgeon. And of course, that is always a great combination. Here at the end, let's look very carefully at the Purkinje images. Wow, beautifully centered, a very nice outcome for our patients. And that's why Zepto is the gold standard for a case like this.